EA Sports. It's in the game. So AJ back here at E3 2012. This is the final day on the show floor here in the EA booth, about to play some Madden NFL 13 with gameplay designer Larry the Legend Rehart. Larry, what do you think? Oh man, it's been a great show, a lot of great feedback, you know, opportunity to talk to all our fans and really show them what we're doing this year. It's been, been a great few days. All right, so what we're going to do here, I got another controller. Uh, we're going to do the two rookie quarterbacks that everybody cares about. We're talking about Andrew Luck and Robert Griffin the third. Larry, you're taking the Redskins. Um, I'm taking the number one overall pick. So let's see what happens. Here we are at FedEx Field for this AFC South versus NFC East matchup between the Colts and the Redskins. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And, Phil, we've prepared for this game by talking to the players and the coaches. What do you expect? Uh, Jim, you're right. we got to talk to a lot of people. And I tell you, there's so many things are even in this football game. What we're going to look at and what both coaches told us special teams look for them look for the hidden yardage which team can get the longer returns in the return game and also what has stopped it or what can always be a problem in games like this is penalties try to keep them to a minimum we'll see how it turns out all right i think it's safe to say all eyes will be focused on this one matchup a top flight wide receiver going against one of the game's premier shutdown corners. You excited about this one, Phil? Yeah, you know I am because this is unique. Very seldom in this league now do we see a corner just have the courage and the ability to go line up against a receiver no matter where he lines up. Right side, left side, in the slot, in motion. That's what we're going to have to here today. And there's nothing like just saying who's going to win the one-on-one -on -one battle. Cabell Connor has the tackle. He emerged as a star for coach Art Riles at Baylor, went on to win the Heisman, and come into the league as a first-round pick, quarterback Robert Griffin III. Here is RG3. Robert Griffin III, even if he couldn't run, will be a success in the NFL because this guy can throw the football. With two hands, he has it. That'll stop the play right there. First down here. They hand it off to the running back. Here is a look at the offense. An offensive unit that is built around this guy at running back. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second, and a gain of four. Number 29 on the run. Here's the guy you'll want to slow down on that defense, Robert Mathis in this game today. Slow down is the word. It is all about speed when you talk about Robert Mathis. Dwight Freeney makes the quarterback move. Uh, Robert Mathis is in there to wipe him up. Third and two here after the run. Third down and two. Going across the middle, and it's thrown incomplete. Well, the quarterback had all day long that time, and he just couldn't, he couldn't make the throw, so we got a little incompletion there. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. Wants to give it a go here. 
able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Coming into the league out of Stanford, quarterback Andrew Luck. Well, you know, Andrew Luck, we've seen what he can do. You know, he's, he's adjusting to the NFL. And, uh, you know, a lot of things you do in college sometimes as a college quarterback don't translate. But they've all translated for Andrew Luck, getting his team in the right position, the right play. And then he's been very smart in, in the decisions he's made. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Interception. He stacked up at that point. Good job by the defensive back. Reading the wide receiver. Makes the break at the perfect time and gets the interception. Always brings a lot of excitement to the field. He won the Heisman in 2011. RG3, Robert Griffin III. Tell me about him. Yeah, what a fast rise by him, right? Uh, of course, in the college football, but even here in the pros. And, you, you know, I don't know how to explain him. I guess it's a little bit of a Michael Vick. He can move around, not maybe as fast, but he's a very good thrower of the football. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Muscles through the defender. Another first down by the offense and the happiest guys on the field or off the field right now is the defense. They are getting rested up on the sidelines. First down coming up. Looking to the right side and throwing. Well, the quarterback gets the completion. It's going to look good on the stat sheet, but there was no chance of getting the first down by catching and running against this defense. Quarterback's got to be a little braver and throw the football down the field. Second down here. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Slips right through his fingertips. That was a nice job by the defense. Being alert for the downfield throw, the defensive back in good position results in an incompletion. Nickel formation here for the defense. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun, and it's knocked down incomplete. To be a great defensive back in the NFL now, you have to read the wide receiver. When those hands go up, you do the same, and that time the defense knocks the football down. What a difficult spot to be in from here. Now first and ten. Looks to his left. A takeaway. Not giving up another inch. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. First down here from the gun. Stands in the pocket. Breaks another. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And that's a gain of nine. So many times we see quarterbacks get in this position. They get out of trouble, but they're so terrible throwing the football on the run, they can't take advantage of the fact that they got out of trouble. Not this time. Good throw on the run.
from the red zone. Second and short. Looking down the field. Three touchdown. Getting beat again by Larry here. Larry, uh, you're really good at the game. Uh, RG3 is really good at the game, so it's fun to play with him. I think uh, he'll be widely used this year in Madden NFL 13. All right, for more E3 coverage, go to easports.com slash E3. It's been fun, everybody. We'll see you next year.